All right, guys, so go ahead and like the video, comment if you can, and also subscribe if you have not already. Today, we're gonna do a Plex 4K transcode test on the DXP4800 Plus NAS from Ugreen. This NAS has a five core Intel Pentium Alder Lake processor, and I have four hard drives in a RAID 5 configuration. So let's go ahead and get started. YouTube, welcome to Geek Shh. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get things started. So we're gonna start off with the regular 4K algorithm, as you can see right here. So let's go, we're gonna leave off HDR tone mapping. We're gonna turn that on for the Remux portion. All right, so we're gonna turn on hardware acceleration and you got everything right there and we're using the IGPU right here. All right, so we got that connected to how we need it to be. We got that right. So now let's go ahead and start. Let's check in with the system. As you can see right here, I got Plex running in Docker. It shows the RAM utilized as well as the CPU. So right here is the memory that we have. We have 32 gigs, 31.13 gigs, basically 32 gigs of RAM. And we got a lot in cache, but then we have some remaining. That's because I was just doing something on here. Anyway, how Linux works is it caches anything that you're not utilizing. It basically makes it as cache. We only really use in 1.72 gigs. And anytime the system needs something, it, it immediately pulls that from cache and utilizes it. So we basically got 31 gigs of RAM. Then you got the GPU right here. So let's go ahead and get things started. All right, so the first movie is Glory. Now, I wanna talk about something while we're doing this transcode test. We're gonna go ahead and start Glory up. I wanna say RIP Diane Keaton. Diane Keaton is a legendary actress that passed away recently. Uh, you know, she was born in 1946. So she was about 70 something years old, I believe. So when she passed away. Now, from what I understand, let's check in with the system. Let's see what's going on here. We jumped up to 4.6 gigs of RAM being used and you see what's going on with the CPU. It's not really showing nothing with the GPU. I think that's something that a flaw in the Ugreen operating system where it doesn't really show exactly what the GPU is doing, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and continue on. So Diane Keaton, she died uh, recently. From what they say, she died from uh, pneumonia. She passed away from pneumonia, unfortunately. So it's a real sad situation. Let's go ahead with the third one, which is Hocus Pocus. So she was born in uh, 1946, I believe. And her first big break, she started doing movies when she was 20 something years old in the 70s. Her first big break was actually The Godfather. Now I'm not gonna hold you. I haven't seen The Godfather in a few, like a few decades, like a, a decade or two. So I can't really tell you exactly if she was in there because I don't remember seeing her in the movie, but from IMDB, she was in the movie indeed. So that was like her first big break. Now in the early nineties, she had a movie that I recall, which is Father of the Bride. It was, it's with the legendary uh, Steve Martin. Let's check in with the system real quick. All right, we up to seven gigs of RAM and 23 uh, CPU usage. And you see the GPU is not really doing that. It doesn't really show you what the GPU is really doing. It's like a bug in the system for some reason. But we're gonna do software transcoding after that. So you're gonna see exactly what it's doing. Anywhere we're up to four, so let's go up to number five. So, you know, Father of the Bride was a real big movie that she was in. They actually did three Fathers of the Bride. It was a big hit. It had the legendary Steve Martin, who's a legendary actor, as well as the comedian. So that was her, that was another big movie that she was in. Let's get to number six, which is Avengers. We kind of tapped out there. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we kind of tapped out. How many movies is that? 
So at the end of the day, you know, Diane Keaton, she never really ran her own movies. Let's go ahead. Like, so basically we get up to like 14, 14 movies comfortably. Let's go ahead and close that out. But anyway, William Macy, I mean, not William Macy, Diane Keaton is a legendary actress. You know what I mean? She passed away. Lamonia is a real sad situation. She passed away pretty early. 70 is pretty young to pass away. Tell you the honest truth in this day and age. Uh, it's so sad. But when you get pneumonia these days and you're that age, you know, things could really go left. But anyway, she was she never was like the leading role. A movie was never really based around her. But anytime you seen her in the movie, you really enjoyed it. She never she always put her best foot forward and she really added to any movie that she was in. So this is definitely a loss for, um, you know, all the movie buffs the plex community all the people that like to add those movies to their uh server or the hollywood community is real sad man rp diane keaton so let's do software transcoder and i'm gonna show you how that goes all right guys so let's go ahead and we're gonna turn off hardware acceleration we're gonna put this into auto and we're gonna go ahead and get this started so right now we're doing software transcoder i want to show you how the system reacts to it as you can see, we down to uh, 1% of the CPU and 4.9 of RAM. So we basically uh, calm down on everything. So now let me go ahead and show you. Let's do Glory. Glory just happened to be a Remux movie. This is one of the two Remuxes in my 4K algorithm. Let me go ahead and get it started up. And I want to show you software transcoding real quick. So let's go ahead and start this movie up. As you can see, see what's going on here. Everything started up. All right, now let me go ahead and force the transcode. Let me show you how that goes. All right, 720p. Go ahead and push that through. All right, so yeah, RIP Diane Keaton, man. Real sad, real, real, real sad, man. So it just lets you know, man, it's a lot of those actors and actresses that we love growing up or back in the day. You see what's going on. The CPU is going absolute bonkers. 95% utilization, so... You definitely don't want to be doing software transcoding. You're either going to be using, well, I'll talk about that at the end. So you definitely don't want to do software transcoding. All right, let's go over to the Remux portion. All right, so for Remux, we're going to go ahead and turn on HDR tone mapping. We're going to do Hable, turn on the iGPU, hardware acceleration, turn that on. And we're going to go ahead and do Alder Lake. The reason I don't do the HEVC video encoding is because it's not going to give you better performance in terms of transcode. So it's not going to make it worse. It's not going to make it better. So I just leave it off because at the end of the day, that wasn't even an option once upon a time. Let's go to the dashboard. All right. And now we're going to start with the Remux with tone mapping on. Remember, these are the real huge files right here. So this is the real, real test. All right. Let's check in this with the system first before I get it started up. See what's going on here uh cpu and the gpu they got they really got to fix that on you green man they gotta fix that it doesn't really show the real gpu utilization but you know it's utilizing the gpu you already know that so all right so we're starting off with batman begins now in this portion i want to talk about the best tv shows out right now um it gotta be alien earth alien earth just wrapped up let's go ahead and push that transcode let's see what the, what's going on here yeah, oh man, it's so annoying not being able to see the GPU utilization. That's just utterly annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. But anyway, we see what's going on there. Let's go ahead and get that started up. Let's go to the next one, which is Zodiac. So Alien Earth, hands down, was an amazing one. Even though I don't really like the way it ended, I think they did an amazing job. From what I understand, they was on like a budget. So being that they was on a, like a kind of strict budget, I think they did a real amazing job, hands down. They did an amazing job. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and push this to 720p. So we got Zodiac there. The second one, um, I like Dexter. I think Dexter had a good premise, but I don't really like how it, you know, how it unfolded. I don't really like it. So I think Alien Earth was better than that one. Now there's another show that I really like. It's called The Rainmaker. Now it's based off a movie, a classic movie from the 90s with Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Uh, mainly Matt Damon back in those days. It was a, a classic movie. I think that was the movie that really got them in the game. And also it had Danny DeVito, the movie. They decided to come out with a TV show. It's pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. They just had a 10th episode 
I really like it. I think it was a good show overall. Um, I still th- I still think Alien Earth was better. Now they do have another show coming up called um what is it? It's like season four of I think The Mayor is the name of it. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. But nonetheless, they got Eddie Falco. I think that's her name in it. Now, that is the woman that played the wife of Tony Soprano in uh, The Sopranos. She is an amazing actress, hands down. She's going to be in season four. I think that was an amazing pickup that they did bringing her in. She also did Nurse Jackie. So I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward y'all through this one. All right, guys, so we basically tapped out here. That was just buffering. That was just buffering. This is buffering as well. Signs was just buffering. So we basically got 12. Uh, so I basically think like 10. You could basically do 10 Remux transcodes at the same time. Let me go ahead and see what's going on here. So yeah, I basically think 10 Remuxes is basically what you could do over here. Now let me run an AV1 test on uh, one AV1 movie and we'll see what we could do over here. Let me check in with the system. You see what's going on here. Unfortunately, we can't really see the real GPU utilization. Uh, I think you green need to go ahead and fix that. Hopefully in the next update, they have that fixed so you can really see what's going on. Anyway, let's do AV1. All right guys, so this is the settings that we're gonna continue to use for the AV1. I'm not going to do a lot of AV1, uh, you know, videos. I'm just going to show you how it reacts to one of them, basically. So we're going to go over to the Plex app and we're going to go ahead and start up one movie from the AV1. Let's go to my library and we're going to go down to the rain, rain man. Uh, hold on. Here we go. All right, Rain Man. So Rain Man is AV1, 4K HDR, Rain uh, AV1. Let's go ahead and check in with the system real quick. You see how it is. Everything's stabilized again. And let's go ahead and start it up. And let's see how the system reacts to it. Just starting up. It's direct playing right now. So everything's still okay. Everything is still fine. Let's Then let's go ahead and push it to 720p. And let's basically see how the CPU reacts. We're supposed to see how the GPU relax, uh, reacts, but you know, unfortunately we can't see that. But the CPU is not going crazy. Uh, I guess because we're on Linux, but the CPU is not going crazy at all. Uh, you know, when we on Windows and you turn on anything with AV1, the CPU and the GPU go utterly insane. Like. <laughs> It just goes crazy. But on this one, no, nah, I don't know if it's the situation because we on Linux or what, but that's how the system is reacting to it. Unfortunately, I can't show y'all what the GPU is doing. Hopefully, uh, you know, Ugreen fixes that in a future update. But anyway, hopefully you got a good idea about what the 4800 plus can do in terms of Plex transcodes. All right, guys, so that's a 4K transcode test on the 4800 plus. Now, remember the key difference between the 4800 and the 4800 plus is one extra core on that i5 Alder Lake CPU. Now, please remember that you can build a container for whichever media server service that you choose to use, whether it's Plex, MB, or Jellyfin. Also, remember that Jellyfin actually has a native app on the Ugreen NAS in the App Store. Also, separate and apart from that, they do have a Ugreen Theater app. That theater app is very much so slept on because a lot of the features that you're paying Plex for or MB for is already integrated into that theater app already. Now, I made a point to show you guys software transcoding. At the end of the day, I wanted you guys to see how the system reacts to software transcoding so you know that that's not something that you wanna use. You wanna really be utilizing that hardware transcoding. So if you don't wanna pay for Plex or Envy, make sure that you're using Jellyfin or that theater app. Now, once again, I wanna go ahead and say RIP to Diane Keaton. 
Sorry, I had to really cut her tribute short during the regular 4K algorithm test because I didn't want the video to be too long, but I just want to put out there that this was a great actress and she really added to the Hollywood scene in every movie that she was in. She did a great job. So RIP Diane Keaton. My name is DeMarco Payne for Geek. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And last but not least, may the good news be yours.